Good morning to the grind. Good morning. 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 Good morning to the grind. Man, it's another amazing morning. It's another amazing day we get to. Thank God for waking us up today. If you're getting the chance to see this Zoom or this uh not Zoom, but it is um, an online kind of grind, right? This uh podcast this morning. This is Grind Out of G 101 podcast. I'm your guy Kijana on to each and every Monday through Friday morning, 6 a.m. God, see, so fit I get to deliver some uh, encouraging, motivating, empowering mojo to get you started, to equip you on your day towards a great day. We're coming towards an amazing season of thanks, Thanksgiving, right? We're coming into an amazing season. So, again, it's going to be part two of being grateful. It's a grateful grind. It's grateful. Think about the things you're grateful for. Just take a second. Let's take a second. Three things. It's a few seconds, right? Life, love, opportunity, chances, vision, foresight, health, uh, prosperity, your church, your pastor, your bishop. Yeah, whatever it is, whatever you're grateful for, think about it. You want some things, but think about the things you have, the things you have right now, the things you, you didn't think you'd have right now that you have right now that you probably got in the closet somewhere that you don't even use right now. Think about something that somebody may want that you have right now. Think about something that, that you wanted, that you have right now, that you may not have ever really appreciated once you had it. Think about that. Man, it's going to be one of those days, and, and I'm excited today, um, as I am each and every day. I, I, I guess I, I, you got to put that in the can because it's not easy. It's not easy to get up and, and tell the world, man, get up and win. Uh, get up. Sometimes you need somebody to tell you to get up and win. The motivator needs motivation, motivation source sometimes as well. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share. I'm grateful for the opportunity to connect with so many other people. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be in position to help others. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be in position to get the help I need. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have my amazing wife. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have three amazing girls, three amazing daughters, three amazing uh, young ladies that are becoming somebody in this world that we could all be proud of. I'm grateful for my dad. I'm grateful for the life that my mom allowed me to 
to develop into before she passed. I'm grateful for her leaving something in me that continues to grow. I'm grateful for the opportunity to dream, work, build, develop, be inspired, be motivated, be in position. I mean, it's, it's a lot of things to be grateful for. And sometimes we just have to stop and say thank you. And stop and say thank you for things you thought of being thankful for. You know, being thankful for the ability to see. Ellie Keller, she, well, what did she say? She said it's, it's uh, more of a, it's sad to have sight without vision. Something to that degree. She was blind. <laughs> but in office. Imagine that. Now, think of this. What do you want in your life that you don't have? First of all, to get what you want in your life that you don't have, you got to be grateful for what you do have. Think of, I, I love this, this is why my book, Practical Principles for Personal Achievement. Think of our parents, uh, someone in the community, coach, teacher. I don't care what kind of life you may have had. Dad wasn't there. Mom wasn't there. We, we could, this is all kind of stuff that we could equate to what we wish could have been better. Everybody's got a story. But think of the things that someone allows you to have that you needed to do what you wanted to do. To keep it simple. Uh, you wanted to join the cheerleading squad, so you needed a uniform. So you weren't able to afford it. You weren't able to get it. Maybe your parents weren't able to get it, but somebody got it for you. You got it. And then you wanted another one because that wasn't the one that you really, really wanted. Think of the times that somebody empowered us with something to use to get to where we said we wanted to go. We didn't use it. Ungrateful or unattached to, to being grateful for the thing you said you wanted. And that's what I believe he's like that too. God, like, hey, you pray, however you pray, however you talk to him, you ask, you, 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 do your work, but then he blesses you with what you he it might not come in the in the fashion of what you wanted it to be all packaged up and pretty, but he gives you a tool. We don't use the tools, we don't use what we have to get to where we want. And that part, being grateful for what we have to get to the next part of what we want is where we at today. It's a grateful grind. What are you grateful for out there? What are you grateful for? Jackie, I know you're grateful out there for helping people. Always helping somebody. I see you all the time doing things uh, that are for others. And that's the kind of people that we're all looking for. Either kind of person is good to other people. And that's being grateful for what you have, even when you may need what you may be offering to someone else. Mm, a grateful grind right there. Let's talk about some of that gratefulness. Yesterday, I shared a, a short clip of looking over the other side of the fence. We, we look over the other side of the green grass next door where we could be watering the grass that we have. We're looking at somebody else's car where we could be working on our car. We're looking at somebody else's home where we could put a new roof on our home. We're looking at somebody's husband, somebody's wife, somebody's father, somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's something else. Because in today's world, we're over inundated with visuals of somebody else's life. And we equate their life to where we should be instead of being so appreciative of our life seeing some examples of some things that we want in our lives, but designing a life that we want to live based on what we have available to get to where we can, we can go anywhere. We can do anything. We can achieve anything. We can work and accumulate all the wealth and everything else. It's, it's all possible. That's There's evidence all around. But what about the things that you currently have? that you're blessed to have. Let's take a second to think about some of that. So I'm looking over that fence. 
So I'm looking at what he has and what she has. I'm listening to her and him about what theirs and they. And start being blessed for what you have. What, 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 what you have. The, the family you have. The love that you have. The husband that you have. The wife that you have. The family that you have. And make that better. Make that better. But you first got to recognize that you have what you already need. Stand by. That's such a simple clip. That, that clip is, is so simple, it, it, but it's paraphrased in a, in a uh, phrase or it's like this. Man cried about having no shoes until he saw the man with no feet. Proverb, African proverb. I don't know where that comes from, but we've heard it. Many of us have heard it. I've heard it all my life. My dad broke me down with that one. <laughs> and so I think that was Christmas. <laughs> Christmas time. It was a little short. <laughs> he told me the man cried about having no shoes until he saw the man with no feet. I had some gifts is what I'm saying. I had love. I had food. I had everything. In, but, but what you look for is something that, that's somewhere else. A better tie, right? I got the baby hundreds of ties. A, a different, you know, as you have what you need, is what I'm trying to get across to. And in this spirit of gratefulness, as we talk about, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, giving thanks, give yourself thanks, give yourself thanks to overcoming uh, being fired, overcoming being divorced, overcoming. Uh, uh, cancer, overcoming whatever it is that we may have faced in life, you overcame it. And I'm going to tell you why you've overcome 100% of everything you've ever faced. It's a fact. Because you're alive. See, the rest of it is the rest of it. The rest of it are the intangibles. The rest of it are the difficulties, the, the struggles, the, all the other stuff. But the, but the life is the, is the great thing. That you have what I love he gave us. Now, this is where you, you probably could find it in scripture, but free will. He gave us the free will, and the free will that we also have is decide that to choose that we are blessed, to decide to choose that I have enough, to decide to choose to accept the fact that I am enough. You gotta feel that you're enough. And if you if we feel like we're enough, we're gonna be consistently trying to prove to others that we're enough. I've gone through that long enough myself. Sometimes you just got to go for what you know because you got to know that you're blessed with what you already have, knowing that that's what you already need. Now, I showed that short uh, clip right there. It's a side of this video walkthrough of being able to look at your own blessings and not someone else's. Someone else wished they had had what you have. They wish they had your car. Oh, man, they wish they had your house. They, they got a, the stove that you don't want anymore. They, they wish they had it. 
you know, the, the ability to uh, have heat in your home. Someone wish they had it. Some, the, the one can that's in your cupboard that you, you don't even want. You might not even know what's in it. You remember those? Here's one for you. I don't know if you know. But if, if you've ever been in a situation where you had some cans, some canned goods, but you didn't know what was in the can because the wrapper was off of it, but you knew it was food in there. Man, there's some times. There's some things. And that's what you get to laugh about. You get to laugh at some things you've been through. You get to think about some things that you've been through and say, man, I can't believe I did that. Man, thank you, God. Man, I can't believe I, 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 I took that trip. Oh, thank you, God. I'm here. Man, I can't believe uh, whatever that might be. We're here. And we get to use what he gave us, free will, to decide that, hey, man, I'm enough. I have enough. I, I am enough. I, I'm willing to do enough. I'm willing to do more than what others are willing to do. Well, I'm willing to do more than what the person in the mirror yesterday was willing to do yesterday. Because I'm going to be a new person today. We get to decide that too. Now, you're hearing that from little old me. I'm just Kijana Owens, a self-published author, uh, speaker. I've done some things uh, that, that I'm truly proud of that have made a difference in other people's lives. It's been an amazing journey, i tell you that much. But think about the things that you've been through. That at the time you were going through it, it just didn't seem like you could get through. And the times that you knew some things that you wanted to do, and you knew you had the, the skill or the passion or the, the tenacity or the hunger or the desire and the understanding and, and the foresight to do what you do, you wanted to do or needed to do, but you didn't act on it because you thought about what other people would think about what you needed to do for you. Be grateful that you have the foresight and activate on the foresight. Man, you got to get on out there. Who's out there right now? Look at that DNA of the ground. Thanks for giving your energy to positive communications, the act of giving, receiving, and sharing. And that's all right. Wake up as your daddy, say something positive about you like that, man. That's all the work you could do. I remember sometimes, you know, as we grow up, so sometimes reckless in thought to get the chance to appreciate the journey and the people that have been in it with you. So uh public shout out to you, Mr. Roscoe Leon's DNA to grind, my my amazing daddy. Good morning to you, Jackie, out there doing the great work. I want to share uh something from Mr. Steve Harvey. You know, uh, uh that's my man. There's one of his ties there. I think that what he shares in, in, in life to me, you know, all other things, you whatever, man, my guy, always as an example of coming from something that he believed in himself to get to somewhere that nobody believed even for them own, for their own selves. And that's something else. People will generally not believe what you could do that could be amazing. If they don't believe that they could do anything amazing, that's something for you right there. You have to check out the replay on that. People will generally hold you back from amazingness if they don't see amazingness in themselves. But you go after your amazingness. And this is Mr. Steve Harvey himself on, on daily gratitude. Think about the gratitude that, that we get to. We woke up this morning. We get to put the best foot forward. We get to put the most work into it. We get to tell them, you know what? Man, the heck with that. I'm winning. The heck with what you're talking about. I'm winning. And if someone, this, 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 somebody, I, I do my thing here. Uh, it's, it's a break. Thought. Thank you. So you have a vision. And you share the vision, and someone blocks out your vision for whatever reason. Maybe you have some shortcomings. Maybe um, that's something that they don't see in you, and that's fair. Not a problem. But don't buy someone's.
doubted you to negate the belief you have in yourself. See, and especially when they have no replacement for what your vision is. You know what? I'm going to school. I'm going to get me a college degree and I'm going to earn me a, a high six figure income as an attorney, whatever that might be for you. Now, the person that you told that to, they don't have a vision like that. They don't have a work ethic like that. And they don't have a vehicle like that, that you can replace the vision that you have for you with. Like, instead of that, do this. Not, not as in, here's a word, I better learn it. Not pontification. Not meaning from the sideline telling you what you should do over there and knowing nothing about what you need to do to make the team, to achieve the success. They're not involved. They don't know what it is. They don't understand the process. They're not going to do the work alongside you, but they pontificate from the sideline about what you should do, not knowing anything about what you need to do or your goals. And they don't have a replacement either. So you got to think about where the information is coming from. Usually a good source of love, usually a good source of support. Normally a, a, a great resource of, you know, love for you, wanting you not to get hurt. So they put you in a comfortable situation. And I'm going to tell you something about comfort. Comfort is the killer and the death of success. Because once you're comfortable, you won't drive for the next level. So a little bit of breakthrough thought for you. So don't listen to, to what somebody's not going to do alongside you what you need to do you don't want to got to get up and go to the library so if you're not going to the library with you to study on what you're trying to do why would you listen to them and they're not doing it anyway do you do mr steve harvey in his own words about how being grateful grateful stand by I'm in the only profession there is no school for. You can't go to school for comedy. There's nothing. Nothing available for comedy. You're either born this way or you're not. But you could go take lessons and then, you know, you just got to get around the scene out here. It's hard. It takes a long Young people, you just got to understand. It takes a long time to make a lot of money. Quit thinking you finna just hit it. That's not how this works. It takes a long time to make a lot of money. I just got this money summer for last. I'm 61 years old. I just got this money summer for last. Took me a long time, man. But there's joy in the process, too. See, you got to enjoy the process. You got you to be grateful when you're making 50000 Then you got to be grateful when you get to 75000 You got to be grateful at 80000 A lot of people stay pissed off because they ain't a millionaire. But I got news for you. If you pissed off, where you are right now, you'll never be a millionaire. You want me to tell you why? Because there is a principle of success that God requires our gratitude. The more you're grateful for, the more God will give you to be grateful for. Because see, God, he real smart. He got this system set up real smart. So you can immediately increase your life by being grateful. Instead of complaining about what's going on, Man, I got to go to work today. Man, I got these kids. See, you asked for all this shit, though. Remember when you wanted a job? Remember when you wanted a baby? Remember when you wanted to get the new car? Well, the new car come with some bills. Well, remember when you wanted to get you a bigger place? You got the bigger place? It costs more money. You know what I learned? You can't cry about what's on your plate when your whole goal was to eat. You can't, man. And if you, the moment you start showing God more gratitude, he'll give you more stuff because he's such a fair God. You know, what he do is he not going to keep giving you stuff if what you got you can't handle already. So he ain't going to put no more on you than you can bear. So why are you tripping about all you got to do? He said, well, let me quit giving him stuff to do because he already can't handle this here. You kill more blessings by not being grateful. That's the number one blessing blocker, lack of gratitude. 
That's the number one reason I have what I have, and that's the number one reason why I'm going to get more, because I just stay grateful for what I have. And I'm busy, man, but I, over, over last year I was complaining a lot, and I couldn't understand why these few deals wasn't closing. I was on vacation this year. I was sitting on the boat. I was looking out over the water, and, and, and God just, he just showed it to me. He said, well, Steve, you've been complaining a lot about your workload, about how much you got. I can't give you no more because I don't want to. I don't want to tax you. I don't want to overburden you. I came back, told my wife that. We we finished up the vacation. I came back. I changed everything. I wake up every morning with nothing but gratitude, and I became more efficient. And I'm telling you right now, two of them deals I signed one yesterday because I figured it out. The cool thing about it is, it don't take God a long time to bless you. He starts immediately, man. I, I, listen to me, y'all. Wake up every day and start being grateful. Wake up every day. Don't, don't check your phone first. Don't check your texts and messages. Wake up every morning and just start thanking him for just your life, your kids, your job, your house, your food, your clothes, your money, your car, your husband, your boyfriend. And then immediately after that, you'll have a better day. And then watch, he start giving you more stuff. It's really not a magic trick to getting rich, man. You just have to learn the principles of success. Jazzibrations is unique in the fact that we honor jazz and blues legends over the age of 65 who have contributed more than 25 years to the industry. Our performances educate our families about legacy preservation and as we entertain our communities to have fun and to be educated about keeping the legacies alive. My name is Kijano Owens. I am co-founder of Success Express Marketing Solutions. Our business is cultivating more business for your business. I want to tell you real quick about our program that is one of the most comprehensive business development uh, online marketing support programs out there, which is the BASP, B-A-S-P, Virtual Assistant Support Program. This system allows you to operate and run your business while we help monitor and help you cultivate more business for your business online. Contact us at 909-686-1698 and visit us online at successexpressmarketing.com. Look forward to helping you take your business to the next level. Success Express Marketing Solutions presents your virtual video podcast studio. Let the Success Express team help bring your podcasting dreams to life. Here's what we do. We help you come up with show ideas, design graphics for your show, set up your podcast studio, and run the back end of your show. So what do you do? Be ready for your show. Make sure your guests are ready. Log into the virtual studio. Turn your cameras on and go. Not sure you're ready to go live on a monthly or a weekly basis? You can get the Try Us Out Success Special. It's only $97 with free design setup. All you got to do is try us out and I guarantee you're going to want more. So get set up today with your virtual video podcast studio from Success Express Marketing Solutions. So go online to Success Express MKTG and we'll get you set up today. Sign up now and get our free ebook, Modern Podcasting, that'll teach you all the techniques you need to know to get your podcast started today. Oh, that's going to be hot right there. The Connectivity Podcast. We're going to sponsor that for the Southern California Black Chamber of Commerce, Pomona Valley chapter. 
Uh, it's going to be amazing, exciting. Listen, if you got a dream, do it. If you got a, a drive, drive it. If you want something, go get it. First of all, be appreciative of the things you have today, the things you have right now. Go in, your, go in that garage and prove it to you. Go in that garage. See what you got that you haven't used in years, maybe even decades. Somebody, some, somebody, somebody, you know it, and it's going to bring it home to you. Somebody is saying, man, I wish I had a coat. It's cold. Somebody is saying, I wish I had shoes. My shoes have holes. You got bags of shoes. You got bags of coats. You got blankets here you on you. Man, we so blessed. Extra cars. We got extra cars in this country. World. <laughs> I digress. Be blessed. Recognize your blessings. Pull them in. We're gonna be talking about that. We, we're gonna be talking about that again tomorrow. So this is just part two here. Okay. Part two of, of just recognizing blessings. This is what we're talking about. It's a grateful grind. It's a grateful grind. You get to, you get to, you get to. You don't have to. You can call work right now. You know what? I'm through. You get to go to work. You get to pay your bills. You get to be late on your bills. You get to recover. You get to come back. You get to do it. You get to, 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 you get to. And if you get that, that you get to, you got it. You absolutely got it. What we got out of there before we get out of there? We got a uh, DNA to grind. Keep up the good work. Sharing Steve Harvey motivational level up. Quit playing. If you're standing on the cliff of life, listen to this. God has forgiven you. Mm, that's deep this morning. So we're waking people up. Mr. Kelton Alexander off the chain. I appreciate you, sir. I'm looking forward to it, man. We're going to make an impact. The, the work that we've done well before the work is seen i'm excited man there you are right there uh absolutely thank you thank you thank you ronnie thank you for being a, a partner that you are thank you for uh, we even got my book out there amazing looking forward to it look at, if you're out there and you want to win go win you have the tools you just go out there and get rejected go out there and tell people what you're going to do they are going to tell you crazy uh, just like the people that's crazy that we buy their stuff, we watch them on TV, we see them doing stuff, going back and forth to Dubai on the little bitty planes, we watch them on TV, we watch them on TikTok. Well, why not you? What, what, what do they have that you don't? Maybe a little uh, further ahead. You can do it. We can do it. Let's do it. We see you on the other side, and there is another side. This has been the Grindology 101 podcast. I'm your guy, Kijana Owens. Let's get into it.